What up squad fam? So as you all know, if you've been watching the channel, uh, you probably know I have the tendency of deep diving, you know, masterpieces of music. Nothing stands in my way, but maybe today, because today we'll be taking a deep dive in the worst album ever made. And when I say this, I am not Exaggerate. This is not an exaggeration. The album in question is uh, Corey Feldman's Angelic to the Core. And you may have heard about this album before by other YouTubers. But even though the album has had uh, a couple videos about it made online, most of them are just reacting to how bad this album is. And uh, honestly, it's completely understandable. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? This album has a fucking insane story. I don't want to give it away too much to start with because in this video, we'll take a deep dive in the worst album of all time. But before we start, if you could hit that subscribe button real quick, that, that would mean a lot, actually. These videos take a, a lot of time to make and uh, it's always very appreciated. With that said, um, let's go. So before I start the deep dive, I'm just gonna introduce quickly who Corey Feldman is. So apparently it's pretty well known that this guy was an actor in his youth and apparently only in his youth. Anyway, I won't spend too much time on that front, but music wise, Angelic to the Core is not his first album. It's actually his third album, believe it or not. He released uh, Love Left in 1994 and Former Child actor in 2002. And as you would have guessed, these albums are are not that good either. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess the best way I could describe these albums are just poor Michael Jackson impression. Like, <laughs> there's a song on this album called uh, What is a Dog? Right under Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> Is this a Christmas album? What? So yeah, um, what a discography. That's just the appetizers. Now we're getting into the main meal. <laughs> so this nightmare of an album didn't start with just like um, a lead single and a few music videos. No, <laughs> it started with an Indiegogo campaign. So this campaign was called Elevator to Ascension. The failed fan fam. The failed fam. This guy wanted a hundred and forty k dollar roonies. <laughs> oh no, it's in Canadian. Oh, okay, okay. So like a hundred, a hundred k, US. And what did he get? What did he get? <laughs> Fifteen thousand dollars. The fa the failed fam was there. Angelic to the core is my first ever double album. It has 22 songs on it. The album truly shows my diversity as a songwriter and producer, covering all fields of the pop music spectrum. Part pop, part rock, part EDM, and all so, so for the fundraiser, that's pretty much it. There's um at the end of the text, there's like uh, guidelines for helping you write a text for your fundraiser. Uh, introduce yourself and your background. <laughs> I guess he just forgot to remove that. But that King Corey gets um, my forgiveness. That's that's the word. So to start his uh, promotion of the album, he went on the Today Show to perform one of his tracks. It kind of went viral uh, a couple years ago. Maybe you've seen this. This is just an incredible performance and you'll see why. So, um... Okay, I already... <laughs> That's one thing I, I love about Corey. He's, he's so into his music. Like, you see other rappers or, or like uh pop stars at concert just like you know vibe just vibing to the music corey no it's like he's trying to act every instrument in the music at once <laughs> and that's respectable no, 
never stop until we reach the top. Imagine watching this at 10 in the morning with your mom and dad just having a nice breakfast. And then Corey Feldman ups up on TV with this like pop dubstep. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. I'm like, hey, isn't that the guy from The Goonies? <laughs> so yeah, this goes on for like a, a minute or two. Um, and uh, you get some more moves, some more. <laughs> Corey should do Fortnite emotes. So apparently, uh, I think this was uh, the lead single or at least one of the lead singles for the album. And it's the one that features Snoop Dogg. So wait, you're like, oh, Snoop Dogg is about to come and rap on, on the Today Show? Hell yeah, I love that guy. This guy pops out. Is that Snoop Dogg? All I wanna do is work. All you wanna do is work. That's that's Snoop Dogg right there. Favorite verse. the song ended so he did he did a cool ending pose but the, the song just continued <laughs> and to act like it if it was intended he just started bopping his head like come on <laughs> and just Corey next to him who has no idea what is going on he's just he's just vibing to the song so obviously that uh that performance provoked a ton of reaction on social media in general there were memes and uh, <laughs> honestly they're pretty funny but the craziest thing is uh and not a lot of people noticed but uh he actually went back on the today show i think it made less of a fuss um then but geez he went back on the today show and uh here's here's a video Hey, Corey, good to see you. Hello, and thank you so much for all the love and support. We love you. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Listen, you know, we were reading some of these tweets, and, and they order on just... Oh, Insanity. Insanity. He's such a... He's such a nice guy. You, you can tell. Seriously, how can you send this man death threats? Like, like, come on. We are at a time right now where the world needs to focus really on peace and love okay. and tolerance, especially with all the bullying. So this is about... The government, this is about the race, this is about Here the United go. States. There we go. Peace. You heard him. This is about America. Take it off, Corey. Come on, give us the performance of a lifetime. Cause I choose to ignore the suffering abroad. So yeah, he performs another song. He also kind of, um, he takes a couple clothes off to, you know, uh, emphasize the, the, the statement he's making on America. Just get up off the ground and You have to get rid of, you know, life is like getting rid of a jacket. You, um, at least he, 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 fuck. <laughs> but after that, it's time for the album rollout. And let me ask you, what does every album need? That's right, a music video. And... <laughs> He made one. <laughs> this video is awesome. It tells the story of a Corey Feldman morning routine. <laughs> Here we go. As you you can see, there is a... Uh, <laughs> he is literally dripping in pussy, okay? There's, there's pussy everywhere in his house. You'll see. <laughs> And he comes out as a uh, um, Dracula. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm mean. I just this sounds so silly. Is that is that Sam? That's Sam from Lord of the Rings. What is he doing there? 
What are you doing? <laughs> okay, this is officially cool. I I wasn't expecting that. What is this green screen? <laughs> And then, of course, he goes back to bed. Uh, still, still dripping in pussy. Nope. You, you seen the pussy in the video. So yeah, the greatest thing about um, this video, there are absolutely no negative comments on this video. Like everybody loved this video. Like just for your information, um, this video has 1.5 million views um, and 8.6 K likes, dislikes, I don't know, unfortunately. And none of it, is a negative like the newest comment on this video is from six years ago so um unfortunately because of the hate apparently Corey has completely protected himself from any criticism whatsoever whether it's constructive or uh, destructive it's all gone i just want people to tell me how great i was when i ate that pancake in the video um <laughs> hey tom tom here uh with a different shirt than yesterday because i ran out of battery yesterday and uh, i didn't want to do this second part of the video where i really deep dive uh the album god fuck and now comes the big day june 22 2016 where the entirety of angelic to the core is released to the grand public and how is it received yeah never mind that they're dumb hippie critics okay that don't know anything about music there are bot critics they don't know anything about music because they're bots so since this is a deep dive instead of just suffering my way through this album i'm actually gonna try to understand it and maybe give Corey a chance to really liberate his ideas in a way that's judgment free, no, no, no meanie comments. <laughs> and maybe at the end of it, this won't be the worst album of all time. I mean, it probably will be, but maybe it won't <laughs> so the first thing to know about this record apart from the music is that um there's actually kind of a whole lore uh, a, a religious lore coming into it so the first track of angelic funkadelic is an ascension millennium and we've seen the music video for it however in the music video you don't see that there's a skit at the beginning and that's a common theme throughout this album there's skits everywhere but they don't make any sense Where's that There's in the skit God is trying to find the key to heaven or or Cory is Cory God and then Cory's angel descend upon the earth um while saying Duh. but from that point on the track list gets uh, gets pretty interesting the second song on the album is called Love in Lies and this is actually the first track I heard when I first found this record and oh my god And then we get to the verse and the auto-tune, that's, that's something on this record. The auto-tune is all over the place. You don't know what he's trying to do. <laughs> then we have the title track of the album, Angelic to the Core. Now, uh, this track is um is paired up with an amazing skit meanwhile back on planet earth good morning angels good, good morning, morning Corey. did you sleep well angels wonderful wonderful wait hold on i just noticed something um is he saying the the track list in order gather everybody on your team for 
test one. First, I want you to go get Detective Jones and be careful because he has a forbidden attraction. Then I want you to find Detective Howard and have no mercy on him. Oh my God, this is incredible. So in the track Forbidden Attractions, we get of course to Detective Jones's secret lair. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Detective Jones' secret lair. And uh, apparently there is our first antagonist in this story, which uh, is Taya Jones. Oh, never mind. I just, she's on the track. God damn it. Okay, well, it's gonna be a battle because it's an antagonist. <laughs> This is awful, not in a way that uh, it's just bad ideas. There's just too many ideas on, on this song, which makes the whole of it uh, a really fucking bad idea. <laughs> Now we get to the fifth song, which is uh, Cross the Line Remix 1.6, Remix with 2x, I don't know why. <laughs> now, of course, uh, on Genius, we get we get uh, all of the lyrics, uh, very complex lyrics. Y you cross the line, you cross the line, you crossed, you crossed, you crossed the line. Now, that's, that's a sentence I can get behind. <laughs> Yeah, you want four minutes of this? Also, shout out to the one that keeps uh, shitposting on uh, Corey Feldman's <laughs> Genius page. Corey, you said you'd be back after getting the milk. It's been 14 years. He crossed the line. <laughs> and now we go to the next song. You don't have to be a musician to know when something doesn't sound right, you know? But the worst thing on this song is the fucking chorus. I think it's kind of Corey's interpretation of the youth these days. Like, we always say, uh, duh. Do you think I'm cute? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> you see the shit that I'm, I'm, I'm wearing? How funny would it be that it's just a song like about his kids? <laughs> Me when my kids don't want to wash the dishes, am I right? Duh. <laughs> so now we get the song Lickety Splickety. <laughs> Where's the chorus? Where's the, where's, where's the enjoyment? <laughs> where's the melody? Where's, where are my kids? <laughs> but I got a good news gamers. We finally made it to side two. I'm so happy. <laughs> Is this album for who <laughs> now you may have noticed i haven't talked about the lore of this album in a while um and that's because just it's gone there's there's no more skits there's just no thanks <laughs> no okay you know what i'm gonna be um I'm gonna be very controversial here. This one, Baby Blue Eyes, is not on the same level as all other songs. It's actually, uh, the instrumentals is decent, uh, Corey's not going too crazy on the vocals, you know, it's a decent song, okay? <laughs> I would see that put on, on at a restaurant, on speakers, I wouldn't even notice. And that's improvement. He did it, boys. He did it. Now we just gotta keep that streak going, all right? Sometimes words don't express the feelings we really mean. So I wrote these feelings for you. Okay, I'm just having these random thoughts come into me 
uh, uh, as I'm listening to this, you know why this is the worst album of all time? Even someone that is trying to make the worst album of all time will never get to the bottom that Corey Feldman hit there. Like, it's, it's not bad because you're trying to make it bad. It's bad because he is so in love with his musical creativity or, or, or whatever. He's, he's going all out on this song. He thinks he's like MJ and he's gonna fucking like nail everything that's thrown at him. He, he does rock, funk, rap at the uh, dubstep at all the same time because that man doesn't give a shit, okay? He doesn't... <laughs> I think I'm getting mad. <laughs> now we got uh, the crown jewel of this album. Um, we want to change. I, I, I put it at the start of the video and I'll gladly put it again. It's a, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Like, how do you record that and think to yourself like, oh yeah, this is good. This is the silliest thing anyone has ever thought of to put it in a song. Do you think like Beyonce just, all right, put on the beat and, and she's just Like, do you get what I mean? It's so silly. It's so out of place. It's so bad. It shouldn't be out. This album shouldn't be out. Lord have mercy on my brain when I'm gonna sleep at night. I'm, I'm gonna have the fucking cross the lines song in my head. <laughs> and there we are. The last song of the record. Working class hero now a lot of questions um are we gonna get any lore <laughs> because that would be a great time it's the last damn track of the album what are we gonna get uh is it amazing probably not from the moment you born they make you feel small I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, fuck Ooh. off. Okay, this song was awful, but we get the outro to the album. And there it ends. See that loop connection? See that? Uh, oh, play back, play back. Where's that? Ascension Millennium, he said. And that's the first track. Oh my God. And he found that key. He found that, he found a key. He got into Ascension Mel Millennium or whatever the fuck <laughs> that was. Oh my God. Yeah, so if I'd wanted to please everyone watching this video, I'd probably say that this is the worst thing I've ever endured, um, and it is, but uh, in the end, aren't we a little harsh on Corey? I mean, all he ever did was try to bring love and happiness to the world. His songs might be a little harsh on the first listen, but as I'm listening again and again, um, I think I'm beginning to get it. Music is not about rhythms or instruments or popularity. It's about the message. It's about love and taking care of the people around us. And honestly, I think I'm ready to make a change. We were together. We Subscribe.